Hi Fitness Warriors, Angela here, and I want to give you an update on our challenge. So, as you know, we are in the last two weeks of our Warrior Challenge. The last two weeks consist of a combination of your step, also a combination of your distance, along with push-ups, burpees, squats, um, sit-ups, and chest press. Yeah, I know. So, although COVID-19 has definitely put a eh, little twist in what you can and can't do, especially if you had access to a gym, that does not mean you do not need to stay active. Right now, I'm here at a local park, and I'm going to still make sure that I get in my distance, my steps, and all of my activities. The challenge consists of push-ups, which you can do either on the ground or elevated. You can do outside or you can do at home consists of squats, which once again, you can do standing up and sitting down or just do a full body squat. Burpees, which you can do standing up or elevated. You can also do them taking it all the way to the ground. You have your chest press, which we want to add a little bit of weight in there. So if you are currently at home and you have a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or anything, definitely do the chest press too because you have the push-pull movement that's definitely gonna work your upper body and keep it strong. Last but not least, we have our sit-ups. We wanna keep your core strong as you possibly can. So we wanna give you a challenge that you can be able to do this. Now, as you know, the challenge consists of doing 500 reps of all of these. So this is a two-week challenge, which means you can do a total of 36 reps of each for the next 14 days. Up your steps, up your distance activities, and there you go. That's how you can do it. If you're currently on the new Total Body Fitness app, you should have already received information about the challenge, so that way you can track your information there. And if you're currently using the Anytime Fitness app, once again, we still got you covered. You should also see the Warrior Challenge somewhere in there as well. If you need it, then contact us at the club and we'll be more than happy to share it with you. But stay active. It is your choice to do whatever that you need to do, but you can do all of these exercises inside your house or not. Now, what we also did was, for the distance, we took out the cycle. Everybody doesn't have a bike or access to a cycle, but you can walk, you may have a treadmill. So that's why we changed the distance to more of a walking, jog, or run, or utilizing the treadmill. Keep up with your miles. If you have a wearable device, it will sync to the Total Body Fitness app and also the Anytime Fitness app. So that way you can keep up with it that way. But enough talking. I'm going to get my workout in today. What are you going to do? If you need help, you can always still reach us. Anytime Fitness is still open. So definitely contact us and let us know what we can help you with. All right. Peace. Let's get this started. Here are your push-ups. You can do them elevated or you can definitely take it to the floor. It is your choice. Then I have an example of your squats. If you can do your squats freestanding and taking it as deep as you can, you definitely want to do that. If you have problems with your knees, then just focus on a functional movement where you stand up and sit down to make sure that you get full range of motion and working those legs. Now I'm going into our burpees. Once again, burpees do not have to be done on the floor. You can easily do them elevated. The higher you are, the easier that it is. But make sure you push those feet all the way back. Now, you can also do it on the floor. Same thing, go ahead and do it this way. When you finish, you can go right into your push-ups if you want to. The last one is sit-ups. I was not gonna get on the ground with my pretty pink, so doing your sit-ups. Either elevate it on the bed or somewhere, or you can take it right to the floor. 